My name's Herb Patton, I'm uh, a gum reef performer. I was born in Orbost in 1943. I'm a uh, descendant of the Gunai Kurnai clan. I lived in a little residing net coming out of Orbost called Numerella, and that's where I discovered my mother's brother, Uncle Lindsay Thomas, playing the gum leaf. I was only five years of age when I saw him pick the leaf off a tree. He was a gum leaf player, and all of a sudden he made a sound like this. The gum leaf bands roved around throughout Victoria, and there were several of them. And there's quite a few from New South Wales. The first time a gum leaf player came to Orbos was from Walliga Lake, it was 1917. And there were also non Aboriginal people that were playing the gum leaf too. Gum leaf playing, you could have a lot of good reserve of this. Not like the didgeridoo. The didgeridoo, you use in your lift. If you do that to your gum leaf, you won't have no traction to the leaf. You notice my lips, are, my lips are very, very still and I'm holding the glum leaf very firm. <coughs> Many cat with scissors to get the rough out of your saw. Mm -hmm. And it sits down like that underneath your lip, like that. It bends out under the top lip like that. Because when the leaf bends over, that's got to rest on that bit of leaf on that finger there, the two index fingers. To bring the sound on, you make a hum sound like a bee. Go, well, you get, go with your lips. And you'll find the vibration between your lips. And I always wet the top, you've got to keep the wet moist. And it goes like this. This is a little container I use. Now I'll fill that bottom with ice cubes. I'll put the uh, cloth over the top. And then I'll get my gum leaves. Just put them in there. And I'll leave that for a night in the fridge. I might put around about uh, 20 leaves in there. There's an exotic plant one, and now you can play him like that. And I'm the only person in the world that can uh, put his music in the fridge. With the gum leaf, what I find that I don't have to carry a big instrument. It's a live instrument. It's a living thing. And another thing is that it's the most cheapest instrument in the world. It costs you nothing. So it's unlimited for me what tunes I can play. 